Vaccinations. Are vaccinations important for cats or to other pets? How frequently should my cat be vaccinated? What problems may be associated with vaccinations? Hello my dear friends, I am Dr. Meir and today we are here to discuss about vaccinations and various misconceptions related to it. Let's get started. Just as in humans, vaccinating your cats helps to protect them against several serious and life-threatening diseases. A vaccine is designed in such a way that it stimulates an immune response that will protect the cat if it's subsequently exposed to the infection. Vaccines in cats are of two types, core vaccinations and non-core vaccinations. Let's start with core vaccinations. There are two types of core vaccinations, one tri-cat vaccination and second rabies vaccination. Tri-cat vaccination is a very important combined vaccination for three viruses, feline panleukopenia virus, feline herpes virus, and feline calice virus. Let's begin with feline panleukopenia virus. Feline panleukopenia virus, also known as feline parvovirus, is a severe and frequently fatal disease causing virus. Outbreaks of the infection with this virus are common. A high proportion of affected cats can die. Most common signs are diarrhea and vomition. Vaccination against this virus is highly effective and has a critical role in protecting cats against infection, especially as the virus is highly contagious. If your cat is not vaccinated and is suffering from vomition and diarrhea, take it to a vet ASAP. Now we have feline herpes virus and feline calice virus. Both of these viruses are main causes of upper respiratory tract infections in cats, which is also known as cat flu. Affected cats typically show sneezing, nasal discharge, conjunctivitis, eye discharge, and mouth ulcers. Cats may also develop viral pneumonia. These viruses are often transmitted by direct or close contact between cats for example, in sneeze droplets. Both of these viruses are ubiquitous in cat populations and because infection is so common and can often be quite severe, especially in younger kittens. Vaccination thus is considered very important for all cats. Last of the core vaccines is anti-rabies vaccine. Rabies virus causes neurological disease and although it's more common in dogs, but cats can also get affected and it can be a source of human infections. For these reasons, countries with the prevalence of rabies virus, it's highly recommended that all the cats should be vaccinated against this virus. Vaccination is the only and the very effective way in preventing this disease. A detailed dedicated video about this rabies virus will be published in future. Now we come to non-core vaccines. First non-core vaccine is for feline leukemia virus, commonly known as FELV. FELV is an important disease that can be spread through fighting, mutual grooming and through sharing food and water bowels and litter trays. Kittens may also acquire infections from queen before birth. FELV infected cats may suffer from immune suppression, anemia, and lymphomas. Most persistently infected cats will die as a result of this infection. Next of the non-core vaccines is a vaccine against feline immunodeficiency virus. Feline immunodeficiency virus is also commonly known as FIV. FIV vaccinations is available in some but not in all countries. This virus is quite common among cats, especially cats that go outdoors and are involved in fighting. Infection is mainly spread through cat bites. It's highly recommended to keep your cats neutered and indoor. Finally, we have some other vaccinations. They include vaccine for feline infectious peritonitis, also known as FIP, which is actually a coronavirus. Most common signs associated with this virus is respiratory signs and ascites. If your country does have this vaccine, it's highly recommended for your cats. Then we have vaccine for Microsporium canis, which causes dermatophycosis, a fungal disease in cats. This vaccine is also highly recommended in cats. 
how frequently should my cat be vaccinated all kittens should receive their covid vaccinations the initial vaccine course is often started at 7 to 8 weeks of age that is a kitten which weighs 700 grams depending upon cat breeds and the second injection should be given 3 or 4 weeks later it's now common to recommend a third booster of the vaccination especially for fpv after 3 weeks from the second booster to ensure the kitten is properly protected an annual booster vaccination should be given 12 months later to ensure good level of continuing protections what problems may be associated with vaccinations? Adverse effects from vaccines are very rare. The most common side effects are mild and include lethargy, inappetence, or tenderness at the sites of injections, which usually last no longer than a few days. It's very important to vaccinate healthy cats or kittens. Coming to the conclusions, vaccinations are generally very safe procedures that has substantially reduced the impact of several very serious diseases. My serious advice to all of you, please vaccinate your pets and don't forget the boosters. I hope you like the video, please like and share it and follow our channel for various interesting pet related topics. Thank you and stay safe.